Hey, Tana, how you doing? Good to see you, buddy, sitting at your dresser there with a nice festive pumpkin candle and a freaking piggy bank, which is almost bigger than your head. Yeah, that's realistic, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode here of the Terraria Let's Play. I do hope you guys are having a lovely day. I really do. And I just want to once again thank you guys for all of the support you guys have been showing the series. I truly do appreciate it. If we can keep it up with all of the amazing support, that would be fan freaking tastic. Now, in today's episode, we're going to explore our world a little bit more. Now that we have the bladed glove and the enchanted sword, we should be able to fend ourselves pretty well against the evil mobs of um, evilness. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, guys. More to the point, I want to see if I can find a desert temple in this world, okay? Because as I mentioned in, I think, the second episode, they are actually a more common occurrence in 1.4.1. So I'm pretty excited to see just what kind of things we can find in our world. Uh, right, I am looking for something in particular, though. Something a lot of you guys were saying we should do, and that is to make pumpkin armor guys check this out so we've got what seven defense straight off the rip so we put this bad boy on and what do you know pumpkin armor and check it out guys plus 10 percent damage hey eh? so this thing now does 25 damage as opposed to the thorns damage here plus 23 damage hey eh? i mean that's pretty cool isn't it i tell you what good job relogic because they really did a number on overhauling the early game armors i think it's absolutely fantastic i truly truly do the fact that this gives additional damage very nice we've got a bunch of defense now as well this gives a flat amount of thorns damage permanently very very nice so yeah when it actually comes down to it guys you're gonna want to make these early game armor sets even if strictly speaking they might do a lesser amount of uh, defense or whatever else so, as I mentioned, we're going to see if we can find ourselves a couple desert temples in this world. That is right. That's what we're doing today. Hello there, sirs. Look at you folks. You're stuck in the zombie mosh pit down there. Oh, dear. What a freaking shame. <laughs> a zombie in a nurse's outfit. That's great. All right. Well, here's the question. Oh, look at he do. Oh, that's a fantastic start. Well, if I wind up dying now... I'm going to be very, very sad. I don't want to die. Not anymore. I've got 15 gold coins on me. Ooh, lens. Very nice. All right. Oh, God. I can't see a freaking thing. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can uh, kill you and then get through here to the little loot chest. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? What have we got? A blowpipe? Eh, not that great. I'll be honest with you. But what can you do about it, huh? All right. We do have to be careful. These guys have both got swords. But now that we've got a little bit of a ranged attack ourselves with our enchanted sword, that is very nice. I'm a big fan of that. All right. Yeah, go on, all of you. Get out of it, you bunch of butts. There you go. Right. I do kind of want to go ahead and check out what's going on down here. Because there was a big old light. Oh, there's a raven down here. Got herb bags. You know why I love herb bags in Terraria? Because they give you herbs that you would, I don't know, it, it might take a little bit to get them. So, for example, let's open it up. And what do you know? We got ourselves some deathweed. It would have been nice if we got deathweed seeds so we can make it a renewable source of, well, deathweed. But what can you do, huh? How you doing? All right, there's a lot of guys down here. This guy's clearly got some sort of freaking bird mask on. I don't like that. Hey, look at you with your freaking torches. Oh, God. Be careful. Don't you jump at me, sir. I don't appreciate that. Get out of here. All right. So, uh, same with you. Got some more torchy guys. All right. Come on. Yeah. Oh, man. I am loving the additional damage, my friends. I think it's fan freaking fantastic. All right. The thing is, though, I, I don't actually want to explore caves. I feel like we've been doing that for, like, the last few episodes in a row, right? We need to go ahead and do something a little bit different. Otherwise, you guys are probably going to get quite bored of the series quite quickly. And, yeah, that would suck, right? All right, so here we are back in the jungle. Obviously, we do need to bear in mind we do have a large world on the go here. So, it might take a little bit to actually traverse our way through this disgusting place. I mean, it's not really disgusting. It's lush green, isn't it? I mean, jungles are among my favorite biomes in Minecraft. And yet, they're not really my favorite biomes in this game. 
Probably because they're very dangerous. And you probably... Well, I die quite a lot from them anyway. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey! You gonna give me a compass? No? Ah, you suck. Wait, they give compasses and depth meters, right? Right? I think that's what we get. Hey, get out of here. Get, go! Get! Get out of here! You bunch of pansies! Uh, you're dead as well. I'd love to get a robot hat. I think that'd be so nice. <laughs> it's like one of the absolute OG pieces of vanity stuffs, you know? I'd, I'd love it. Like, honestly, I would. All right, I think we're coming across the end of the jungle? Question mark? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. We've got some sunflowers. Oh, and what do you know? We're going straight into a corruption. How about that? Just what I always wanted. Just what the doctor ordered. Oh, boy. All right, well, we got to be careful roaming through here. Yes, we can do good damage against these guys, but oh, mama, are they going to do some damage against me? We've definitely got to be careful. Right, okay, come on. We're just going to try and speed our way through this. I am so glad, guys. I'm so glad that we got Hermes boots. Hermes boots plus double jump plus the ability to grapple onto stuff. It's a bit of a game changer. I really like it. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Oh, my goodness. All right, come on. I feel like we're going to start coming across Enchanted Sword Shrine Country very, very shortly. You never know, right? How about a desert, huh? We need a desert. Here we go. This... Oh, hey. How you doing? What's in caverns? You see, the thing is, guys, we have already done it. We have already done the Supreme Helper Minion thing, so we don't need to worry. However, guys, we have some brand new achievements in 1.4.1. Should we go ahead and check out some of them here real quick? Uh, can we, like... Ah, oh, we can't, like, refine it by unachieved. That would have been kind of nice for a 1.4.1 thing. But anyway, Temple Raider, that was the only one left from before. Fey Flayer, defeat the Empress of Light. Okay, a brand new boss, of course. Just Desert, defeat Queen Slime. Awesome. Uh, defeat the Dread Nautilus. Oh, okay, cool. Another new mini boss. Uh, repel the strongest forces of Old One's army. Oh, okay, so we've got to take down a tier 3 Old One's army. Obtain the Zenith. Okay, pretty easy. Boots of the Hero. Terror Spark Boots. Nice. Fly a kite on a windy day. Pretty easy. Uh, graveyard Biome. Okay. Drop a lure in a pool of lava for a pre-fried haul. Okay, so fishing and lava. Trick a gnome into turning into stone. Ha! <laughs> that rhymes. I like it. Terraria, the next great rappers. Who would have known? Meet with a tenant who's as happy as they could possibly be. Nice. Deliver head pats to the town pet. Okay. What you're celebrating doesn't matter. Just throw a party already. Of course. You were so preoccupied with whether or not you could open the chest that you didn't stop to think if you should. Oh, the dead man's chest. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I don't know about that one, my friends. All right, let's see if there's anything for anything down here. Are we going to have some nice ocean content? Uh, is that going to be a thing? Are we even going to get a chest down here? Oh, this looks kind of disappointing. There's, there's no chest here. What the heck is that? I can't believe we didn't get a single chest. What on earth is up with that, dude? Ah, oh, jeez. All right, well, time to organize our inventory and get right back to it. Do, 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 do. Just whacking the bottom of trees and hoping we get something epic. I mean, we've already got a living wood wand out of one, right? So that's kind of nice. But it would be kind of nice to see if we can get some other stuff. So maybe me just bopping these trees here and there. Oh, look at that. A little birdie came out of one. Oh, that's adorable. Love to see it. I tell you what, we are picking up so many pumpkins at this point that we're probably going to have to make some sort of giant pumpkin build, you know? Something nice and seasonal, and maybe it can contain a couple NPCs or so. You know, if we're going to make something like that, we might as well give it an actual use. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, look at this. It's just raining drops. Oh, that one had a... That one had a squirrel in it. I'm sorry for disturbing your peace, sir. Yeah, let's uh, let, let's not go ahead and do that anymore, huh? All right, can we get some, like, nasty fruits? Ooh. Ebonwood. Look at it do. Fantastic. I mean, we could kind of cheat the system and go down here. Maybe there's some stuff down here. 
What do you guys think? Should we do that? Should we do that? I think we're going to pop down here. Maybe we can find ourselves a heart crystal or two. That would be nice, right? I mean, look at this. We're already down in the underground section here. So, I'm, I mean, why not at this point? Why the heck not? All right, come on, baby. What are we going to get? That is the question. All right, we got ourselves a bunch of potions. Fantastic. It appears the horizontal section does continue over to the left there. Where, oh, where does this corruption go to? Oh, it just goes out. Huh. All right, cool. I like that. All right, how about some oh, rotten eggs? Love to see it. <laughs> I love doing this. Like, every time you log out of your world and come back on, I'm pretty sure the amount of times you hit a tree, like, resets. So then you can just go throughout your entire world, hitting a whole bunch more trees, and then you can get some more drops, you know? It's kind of nice. I mean, you know, it is kind of hashtag tree abuse. But what are you going to do about it, huh? What are you going to do about it? Oh, what is that? An elderberry. Ooh. Fruits that I don't think I've seen before, actually. Ah, okay. So increases life regen at the very least and gives minor improvements to all stats. I mean, that's pretty much the same for, I think, all the fruits. You just then need to create, like, juices and whatnot for them. And then, yeah, you can get yourself some, you know, some major improvements. You know, good stuff. Well, holy poop. It would appear that we've got ourselves another giant tree biome. Ooh. Oh my god, warding climbing claws. Yet another four defense. Going up to 15 defense, ladies and gents. Wow. That is very good. Hey. Oh, sorry, goldfish. I didn't actually mean to do that if it makes you feel any better. I mean, obviously, you know, I did slightly kill you, so you're probably feeling quite down on yourself right now. However, I'm feeling pretty good about myself, because check this out. We've got ourselves some more Hermes boots. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? I guess the question is, are we about to find ourselves something on the other tree, huh? Uh, no. It is literally just a big tree. I feel like it's more rare to find one that doesn't go down than does. All right, come on. There's got to be something. There's got to be another desert biome, right? You can't surely tell me. Wait, is that a go- Oh my god, that's a gold bird. Gold bird? Goldie! Come here, Goldie! Yeah! I'm gonna get you! Here we go, here we go. Yeah! Yeah! I got a gold bird! Oh, snappers! And uh, what do you know? Uh, shark bait? Oh my god, our second pet of the entire series. How about that, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> oh, you're kidding me, right? Dude! Not cool, boo-boo! I'm trying to explore my world, bro. That ain't cool at all. Ah, gee whiz. All right, well, I guess we're going to have to speed this up a little bit, huh? All right. Are we going to find anything? Oh, that's... That's very strange. I am absolutely convinced that there is a shrine underneath here. You don't normally find just a perfect crack in the background walls like that. Right? Or am I crazy? It's possible. It's possible that I'm being crazy, but I have a suspicion there may be a shrine under here. Question mark. Or not. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I'm starting to doubt myself now. Huh. All right. Well, maybe there isn't one down here. Well, that's interesting. Why would there be a perfect crack in the background walls there? Seriously, I, I don't normally see stuff like that. It's... I don't see stuff like that usually. How you doing? Oh, God. No. Okay, we're out of it. Ah. Uh, okay, time to cut me losses, guys. What else have we got, huh? What else have we got? Anything for anything? Maybe an aglet? An aglet would I... Oh, well, there he is, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, he's like full on chasing me as well. <laughs> hey. How you doing? 4,000 health. Are you freaking kidding me? I may actually have to... Oh, I may have to use the teleport trick to just get out of this fight because I don't I don't want to deal with this guy right about now. I don't feel like I'm prepared enough, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> okay, a little bit of health. At the <laughs> Who would have known, huh? Python is exploring his world with the Eye of Cthulhu as an exploration companion. Uh, I mean, it's not something you see every day, is it, ladies and gents? Hey, look at that. 
Yeah, look at he do. Oh, God. And now my movement is impaired. That ain't cool. Look at all these eyeballs. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, God. All right. All right. We might, we might get out of here eventually. Oh, God. We might get out of here eventually with our lives intact. I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, I frankly do not want to take down the Eye of Cthulhu, okay? So that's why I'm doing this thing. All right. What is this? Uh, how about a temple? A temple, question mark? Come on, baby. You know you want to give me one. This is a freaking big-ass desert, dude. Come on, don't do me like this. Let the let there be one. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, he's disappeared. Oh, good-o. Ah, good. I just managed to escape him. <laughs> what a dumbo. Oh, man. Oh. Mate, we came out of that with our lives intact, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, I'm going to take this out of the game. Uh, yeah, I actually kind of want that, just in case I want it for farming purposes. There we go. I'm pretty sure they changed it so you can't get water bolts from the surface of the dungeon anymore. So, yeah. Just something to bear in mind, I guess. Right, the, I think the, the desert actually continues all the way over here. Whoa. Come on, there's got to be a temple here, right? No? Maybe it's like hidden underground or something? Surely not, dude. There's got to be one. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Well, all we could do is just continue on, huh? Ah, uh, okay. Ugh. Don't fall to your death, Python. That would definitely not be in your best interest, huh? <laughs> oh, come on, dude. You can't deny me this, surely. There's got to... Oh, okay. Regular desert coming into effect again. Oh, there definitely seems to be plenty of deserts. Come on! Let there be one, dude. What? It goes back into another corruption. How many corruptions are there? Seriously. Gee whiz. Oh, I'm so sad. I don't think we're going to get one, guys. All right, well, maybe we go for broke. Maybe we have a slight chance of getting ourselves a sword shrine again. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on. You never know, right? You never freaking know. Well, it may not be a sword shrine, but I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. A chest is always welcome in my eyes. Oh, yes, it is. All right, what have we got here? Uh, oh, a wand of sparking. Man, we probably could have actually used that to take down the Eye of Cthulhu. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm kind of sad about not taking them down now. All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and just, uh, you know, you know, get rid of those ropes there. I don't really need them. Uh, I will, however, open this. What do we got? Moon glow seeds. Oh, death wheat seeds. Nice. It's now a renewable resource now. Fantastic. Uh, oh, my goodness. All right, you know what? I'm just going to drink that. Uh, I'm going to take this. There we go. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that. We can get rid of the chest. And finally... We'll eat the elderberry. Why not? I mean, you never know, right? Wait, what's down there? I saw a light. I don't think it's a sword shrine, though. I don't think so. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I hope. <laughs> oh, dude. It doesn't look like there's anything going on down there. Just something glowing. Huh. All right, well, let's get back out of here, guys. We've got the left-hand side ocean to contend with, and then we're just about done. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We pretty much were at the ocean anyway, so... Yeah, not too bad, huh? Do you know what I'm going to do real quick? I'm going to purposely drink that. I'm going to take those potions, and what we're going to do is try to free up just a little bit of inventory space somehow. Um, somehow? Yeah, that's is going to be kind of hard, actually. <laughs> Oh, no. What are we going to get rid of? I mean, ropes, we could just buy those. Bottles, we can make those pretty easy. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I will be able to put those in the uh, offhand slot, I guess. Ah, uh, oh, jeez. Pumpkin seed, I kind of want that. Can I put that? Ah, oh, it's just a die slot. I mean, what would be the point of a social pet slot, huh? <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, here's hoping that we have potentially enough inventory slots to pick up whatever may be in the ocean. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 
Let there be something. Come on. Faced ocean lords. Any sign of a chest? Yep, yeah, there's one. Oh, we got the freaking shark bait thing again. And that's about it. All right. Cool. All right, guys. Well, there we go. Explored the entirety of our world. The surface of it anyway. Look at it. Man. So much exploring potential here, guys. There was so much desert over here. Ah. Oh. I'm so surprised that there isn't, like, an easily visible desert temple. I mean, it's possible. It's possible there may be one hidden on the ground. I've had it happen before, once before, right? It may happen again. I don't know. All I know is we've explored all of our world, and I'm feeling pretty good about it, okay? So, let's go ahead, sort our uh, inventory, and then I guess we will uh, head off for today. And how about it, my friends? A nice, clean inventory means a nice, happy Pythonator. Oh, yeah, look at me with my vampire outfit as well. <laughs> oh, look fantastic. Anyways, look at this, my friends. We do have 40 gold coins on us, which I think is very, very nice. So, if and when the arms dealer eventually moves in, once we get some more houses made, that is, then, yeah, we should be able to buy ourselves the mini shark, I guess. You know? OG weapons. Sometimes they're just the way to go. Ah, yeah. All right, guys. So, in the next episode, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Maybe we do some exploring underground, try and get ourselves some better armor. Maybe, just maybe, if we get lucky, we could get ourselves a King Slime spawn or maybe even another Eye of Cthulhu spawn. Because now that we have the Wand of Sparking, this bad boy alone would be more than enough to take down the Eye of Cthulhu. Truly, it would be. I think we've done it before, and I'm more than prepared to do it again, my friends. We've got 17 defense right now, and if we manage to make ourselves any Iron Skin potions, that'll be increased by a further 8. So, yeah, it's going to be quite the hefty amount of defense. But anyways, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. A very exploring central episode. Exploring centric episode? I don't know. Anyways, my friends, if you have enjoyed today's episode, you guys know what to do. Go ahead and drop a like rating. I'd very much appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends... Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all your support throughout the series and the channel. I really, truly do. It does mean the world to me, my friends. So, yeah, thank you for all your support and your patience. And, uh, yeah, more Terraria to come, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.